Now there aren't any real tricks to drawing a shoe, but you do want to work general to specific. Um, so what I want to do is try to create just the general shape and then come in and work on uh, the details. So I'm going to use my pencil and I can kind of eyeball that angle by putting that pencil up there and then putting it on my paper. And I can see that that's not quite, you know, straight up and down. Um, and then I can look at this here. Now I'm starting to kind of rough in that those angles. And you can use your pencil to compare things too. Use it like a little ruler. So you can say, okay, well, the toe comes up to here on my pencil, and then how many of those does it take to get to the top of this? It takes two toe heights to get there. So we can kind of check those to see if we're correct. And then it's just kind of a little bit of a trial and error and um, nothing's really wrong until you put other little parts in there and then if it starts to look wrong well then maybe you need to go back and change that first part. See, I had this part curving in, and I realized that it has to match up with this section here, so I have to switch that. And I haven't put any little stitches in yet, I'm just drawing the, the big shapes. Like I said, you want to go general and then to specific. Okay, now I notice that this line is not going to be down far enough, uh, so I need to make Okay, then we're getting that general shape on there. I'm going to still thicken this up a little bit more. Sometimes you can add a little bit of shading in, but generally you want to just stick to line. I'm looking at that and I'm seeing that I need to cut this off a little bit more.
Okay.